There's a little group of people who play Minecraft in hardcore on single player, and they're issued monthly challenges by the leader. I'll link to all this in the description below. I preloaded this world enough so that it wouldn't have to wait a long time and eat up a lot of recording time, but I just loaded what's around spawn and then backed out. So this is what I'm talking about, about my computer. <laughs> It's a flimsy little laptop. It wasn't designed to carry all this stuff from 1.8 and you notice that the game and the client are disagreeing on what blocks have been broken. So here's what we do. Now this month the challenge is to build a haunted mansion which means to let things spawn inside. I'm on hardcore mode which means if I die that's it I'm done. It doesn't mean I don't regenerate. I had thought that that was true but nope. Although you can set regeneration to false, and that's ultra hardcore mode, okay? Uh, so the challenge is to build a haunted mansion and allow mobs to spawn in it. This is going to be extremely problematic for me since anytime mobs spawn, my frame rate goes down really drastically, even when I'm not recording. I'm to record this straight through with no breaks. Uh, I'm not allowed to fast forward or cut stuff out or anything like that. So. Some of the footage is going to be boring and I'll try to compensate for that by commentary, okay? Like this right now. Uh, let's see, what else? Oh, uh, this particular version is resource rich. What that means is that they usually they have a restriction that you're not allowed to kill animals for food and so on. Uh, and you're also not allowed to AFK and wait for crops to grow to make it more challenging. The food's not going to be easy to get. Uh, in this particular version, they're more, this month only, they're more interested in people building a haunted mansion than they are in the food thing, so they've lowered that restriction. The seed is close to a village. I watched the uh, director's video on it, and I just am doing this by memory. I will follow basically the way, the direction he went. One thing is that there's a patch of pumpkins in the forest that I passed because I went a little to the left of it. If I'd gone straight ahead and then zig left uh, after the pumpkin patch, I would have found the village, but I zigged left pretty quickly because I stopped at a cliffside to get some stone and whatnot. I'm cutting down the dark oak because in the place where we are, we are designated a space where we are to build the mansion. Everybody builds the mansion in the same place. So I'm cutting down the dark oak now in the hopes that I will get saplings. You can see the problem, the leaf blocks aren't breaking. And I'm having to do everything twice. Uh, and I want to take dark oak saplings over there to grow them. I also want to take mushrooms since I'm in this giant mushroom area. I thought I'd just chop down some shrooms and get the babies and plant them underground or whatever. Ideally, I would have liked to build most of the mansion underground. But with this lag and having to duplicate efforts and hit everything twice and so on, I would not be able to do that. I'd like embed it into the mountainside, so a lot of it would be subterranean, lots of dangerous basements and stuff. There's not going to be time for any of that. So I will build most of it on the surface uh, using probably a lot of dark oak. Uh, now, he does want a lot of spawn rate, but with my computer the way it is and how badly I can handle mobs. I won't get anything done if all I'm doing is fighting mobs because you can't see them. They lag out my computer to like between 5 and 15 frames per second while I'm recording. So I'm going to leave the roof off. I'll build the structure and leave the roof off. I know that's not in compliance with the challenge. I don't expect to be a contender in the challenge anyway because of all the issues I have anyway. But I'll try to leave it as open as I can so mobs don't spawn right around it. Oh, the other thing is you can only light the mansion with redstone torches. The pumpkin patch is, of course, because it's a haunted mansion and it's October and, uh, you know, so I, and you know me, if there's pumpkins, heck yeah. So that's kind of my plan. There's also, like I said, a village nearby and I will find carrots and potatoes and wheat, of course, and then skedaddle out of there before night falls so that the zombies don't wreck the village. And we're building the mansion pretty much across a river from the village. There's also horses. If I do come across a saddle, I would like to tame a horse. Too bad there's no donkeys. 
uh, and I'm going to mark my spawn and all that. The reason I'm putting this up is because I need to learn to function in hardcore and get past the panic of it. And also because I'm trying to function in hardcore so that I can better prepare myself for the possibility of doing UHC. Now with a computer in this kind of shape, there's no way I'm going to be doing UHC, particularly in 1.8. I think I may have made a mistake because in loading the world on 1.8, I just assumed that all of my settings would be the same. It is possible that because my game mode is on hardcore, that silly things have happened like animations are on and clouds are on. And remember, I, there's no Optifine 1.8 yet, so I can't do that to improve my frame rate and so on. So I may have to go into my options menu and adjust a few things. I don't know, but I'll double check. But I was in, once I turned this on and started recording, because I had forgotten to check those things, I just left it running because it's one of the stipulations of the challenges that you leave it running. And I didn't want to waste my time fiddling in my settings. As it is, there's supposed to be a 20-minute episode, which is one day night cycle. Uh, I'm going to quit this. It's still going to be night. And I think I've missed the location of where I'm supposed to be putting my mansion. I will double check the coordinates offline. Put on F3. I'm getting the Silac to mark my spawn point. Put on F3 and find the location both of the pumpkin patch and where I'm supposed to build my mansion by using F3. The coordinates written down someplace where I can see them. I didn't even know if I could do this. I'm surprised I did as well as I did. I don't expect to have much of a mansion built either by the end of the month. It's a really nice seed. I'd like to play it sometime without so many restrictions, but this will do. You know, there's always a new seed, right? Wish I'd cut down that pumpkin, too. This is where I freaked out because I'm going to fall, and look how long it takes for the damage to show up. I hear my ankles crack, but it takes, like, I think it was a whole sentence, a whole set, a whole second before it registered as a fall and as damage. Mm. So you see, it's going to be really hard to fight mobs and do a lot of stuff with it like this. Now, of course, this is a brand new world and nothing is loaded yet. And as I'm going, it's generating chunks and all that good stuff. But other people don't have this much trouble loading their worlds. And I'm just going to have to try to stay as close to the areas that I'm supposed to work in as I can. I see the stone over here. It's pretty much in the direction that I need to go to get to the village. So I'm going to get that. I wish I'd cut down that tree first before I started mining stone because then the leaves would have despawned and it would have saved me a lot of time. Wasn't thinking very well, just trying to get started. Real self-conscious, real um, afraid that I'm not good enough and really shocked at the poor quality and the fact that I can barely see, I can barely operate the mouse controls. Uh, even the keyboard functions are a little slow. My cat's coming over for some reason and walking right in front of me while I'm trying to look at the video to narrate this. Hey, Patty. Patty's feeling better. She's still really fragile. Uh, good appetite. All that kind of stuff. So the antibiotics are kicking in. She almost died. I know it, but she's getting better now. So I'm collecting my stone from my tools and my furnace and whatnot. It doesn't matter about this area because I don't think I'll be back except just to run past. So I don't really care that I'm causing a little damage to this cliffside because it's not going to be pertinent to the game. Oh, I have all kinds of ideas about what I'd like to do for a mansion and, you know, you know me, I love to build. But given my performance rate, I don't think that's even going to happen. Uh, again, the, the main reason I'm doing this is to give people with low-end computers any tricks and tips I come across as I'm working, and people with vision issues that have a hard time playing this game, and people with issues like me with the PTSD and being triggered, uh, anxiety issues, whatever. Um, I don't expect to do well. I expect I'll probably die. And of course, you, that when you die, you lose your world and you can't come back. The seed for this is capital D-E-R-P space capital G-U-R-U. -U. It's a young woman I found out about. How did I find out about her? I think on Twitter. 
yes, to some uh, Minecraft friends of mine. Um, they linked to one of her videos. I started watching her channel, and she's doing this challenge. And from there, I looked up this challenge and didn't take that bottom log, but it's like it's the only oak tree on the planet, right? Mostly for saplings. I don't really need oak wood. Just because I'm going to be building in the plains on top of a hill, and there aren't any trees nearby, and with this bad of a mobility rate and this bad performance issues, I need my trees to be close to my house. Also, I would like the trees to be just far enough from the house to encourage mob spawn, so that while I'm working, the mobs won't be spawning around me as much as they will be elsewhere. And since it's in a plains without trees, of course the mobs are going to want to spawn near me. I hear a baby zombie, so I'm not fooling around with cutting down the rest of that mushroom. Again, at that point, I didn't realize that you do regenerate, and so I was a little worried about taking damage so early in the game. Now I'm finding my way to the village. I still pretty much have my sense of direction. I know which way I'm supposed to travel. I don't know if I'm traveling north, south, east, west because I don't have F3 on, but I can figure all that out later, no big deal. Grabbing a little sand in case I want glass, just in case. Maybe even want uh, gunpowder to blow stuff up so that I can get resources and whatnot quickly. I don't know. Never done this before. So I haven't seen the village yet. It's really close to me, but I can't see it because of the rendering issues. It's not, the chunks aren't loading. So I don't know. It's, I'm right next to it. I know I'm close, but I don't know that it's like, on a normal computer, I'd be able to see it. I have my render distance, I think, if my settings are still the same, I have my render distance set at a rather modest distance, I think less than 10. But uh, there's a ravine here, I don't know if that's it. Uh, the guy who's demonstrating this almost fell in the ravine. No, I don't remember his name. I'm in a hurry to get this edited because I have another video I need to finish editing. It's going to require a lot more work so that I can upload this tomorrow, which is the deadlines are Fridays and Mondays to upload. And I want to make sure it's in the can, ready to go. I may even upload it today just to get it out of the way kind of deal, even though it's supposed to be up tomorrow. I don't know. Just so I don't forget. That's a thing too, you know. So yeah, I have a village. I haven't just, running through here, I haven't seen a blacksmith right off the top of my head. But I haven't really looked. I looked up in the sky and saw that the sun was setting. I didn't replant all the wheat, and I wish I had. And so I kind of said, oops, I better skedaddle, and just took off and uh, didn't really look very carefully. I need to find a library. We're not supposed to. In a normal hardcore challenges, you're not supposed to kill animals. Like I said, we've got a retrieve on this one only. But I'd like to try as much as possible not to kill animals. I mean, I've got a farm, right? Uh, so I'm hoping there's a library here so that I can get books in case I have time to enchant. I'm not saying I will, but just in case I do. So it's a good garden. It's got enough of everything in it. I may plant some stuff closer to home just so I can run out and grab it. But you know me, I like to diversify things like crops and livestock and resources in case something blows up or gets burned up or something on one part of the map. I'll still have a farm or whatever on another part of the map. This is why I didn't bother to chase that sheep, sheep in the forest, because I knew there were sheep in the plains. And that's the same herd of horses he passed. I'm going very close to where the hill is where I'm supposed to build, but because the chunks aren't rendering, I really can't see where that is. I think it's a little to my left. Uh, I'm not sure. But I made a hidey hole for the night, not far from here. See, I'm not sure what's ocean and what's void and what's a river, and it's pretty sketchy. Like, is that an ocean to my left, or is that just part of a river bank? See what I mean? Because this here is a river. So I'm just faking it. I haven't had much practice with Ultra Hardcore because I panic so much and I've been, um, and the performance issues and stuff. I always figured I'd wait until I got a better machine before I started practicing on Hardcore, but I think it's better that I not wait, that I go ahead and practice because if I can get any good at this with this computer behaving this badly, then 
if I have a better performing computer, imagine how well I will do. So it's better to practice on bad equipment than hold out and wait for good equipment, I think. Not sure, but I think so. I know two of my favorite ultra-hardcore players are Berg Gasms and Winter Ma. Berg lives in Australia and Winter Ma lives in Thailand. And they play UHC tournaments with really bad lag, and they've built that into their game tactics, uh, knowing that they won't be able to hit mobs. Winter Ma is big on traps, uh, all kinds of stuff, Little, just little things they know because they have lag. They even have crafting lag, so they think they've built something and it, it's not available yet because the server doesn't know that the client has built, like, a pickaxe or whatever. So I've watched some really, really good players that have an incredible amount of lag. Even though they have decent equipment, I don't know about Wintermaw's computer, but I know Berg has a good computer. He's a computer guy. Uh, and they've been able to play even with bad equipment, so I don't really see that as an excuse, but something that needs to be compensated for. There are reasons why I would die because I just can't do anything to protect myself from lag, period. But that's no reason not to play. I keep saying I want to participate in things, and poverty is a real handicap to that, because without adequate equipment, there's just no way to participate on an even playing field. And this computer has served me very well for the past year or so since I've put up my channel, but it can't handle 1.8 and record at the same time. And I detest Bandicam freeware. I would really like to be able to use OBS. I get much better video, but not on 1.8. No way. I have a hard enough time using OBS with uh, 1.7.3 beta which doesn't have near the bells and whistles that the later versions have, graphically speaking. So I'm really taxing my computer just playing 1.8 without recording. So I'm hoping that I can build, it probably won't be a very elaborate mansion, but a nice enough mansion that it'll be Halloweeny and tricksy and whatnot. I'll probably build just the basic structure first and then add any little froufras and gargoyles and uh, details later. And it looks like my basic survival needs are met. I'm going to have to mine deep if I'm going to get redstone for torches. And it looks like that's going to be an issue, doesn't it? Since blocks aren't breaking when I break them. and Yeah, it's going to be an issue. I wish this hadn't been here. I wish that had just been regular old stone instead of, that's not, is that diorite? I don't remember. Andesite, I think. Well, I don't remember. Anyway, it's something I can't make tools out of, that's for sure, or furnaces. or. <laughs> I mean, that could come in real handy for the building of the mansion, but it's useless for basic tools at the beginning of the game. This is as fast as I can move. I'm not moving slowly. I'm moving as quickly as I can. See how that shovel, I made that shovel, and I put it in that slot, but the game didn't detect that I'd given the mouse the command to let it go into the slot. So it just picked up the wooden, it picked up the, kept the cobble shovel and put it in the space where I wanted the wooden shovel to go. Hard to even negotiate this little tiny staircase. There's nothing to this and I can't even negotiate the staircase without a lot of trouble. So this is Minecraft on an inadequate machine. Well, it wasn't inadequate until they <laughs> fancied it up to the point where, oh, wow. I don't know what to tell you. So I'm going to do it for the whole month. I'm going to do it Mondays and Fridays. I will put out videos, 20-minute videos of my progress. This is actually 19 minutes and 40 seconds. I have my timer set to 9 minutes 30 seconds to give me enough time to be able to finish what I'm doing to be able to turn off the video. So it got a little short this time. Okay, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.